Hi, Titi Lovers. This is a nice working model of a robo built at home. No cost, everything is indigenous material, just whatever was available in the house. Those materials are taken and then built except uh, buying for some motor and uh, regulators. Now I'll just show you how this works. Okay, First I'll explain each and every part uh, of this robo and I'll try to work on it and see how it operates. Okay, Now you can see there is a disc rotation inside. It is called the ball delivery disc. This is connected uh, to actually you can see here you can see here how connected to a motor over here yeah you can see this is a 1200 rpm motor and this is connected to a small electronic regulator so it controls the speed of the disc okay this in turn is connected to a 12 volts ac dc converter over here okay the second portion of the robo is this called as a swinging mechanism this arm swings left to right right to left so i'll put a 200 rpm motor on this no need of regulator and uh, it uh, is connected to a 12 amps uh, ac dc connector again okay these are all ac dc connectors which is not even bought out all the old uh, mobile chargers I have taken all old mobile chargers and converted into AC DC converter okay now the third portion what you can see is the driving wheel ball shooting mechanism you can see the ball shooting mechanism just an ordinary bottle cap and a old table tennis the pimple rubber for the wheel and a 12 volts small mini motor fixed and this mini motor is again connected to a 12 volts ac dc um, yeah converter okay these are all the uh, model okay now you can just see how it works i'll operate uh, it uh, one by one you can see the disc operation first i'll start the disc operation you can see the disc operation here okay the one delivery ball disc this can be adjusted uh, by this uh, what you call the regulator. The speed can be controlled. Okay, you can see the very slow speed now. You can increase the speed of the ball delivery. Okay, you can reduce the speed of the ball delivery. Right? Okay. And then now this basket also can be adjusted to the height, any height you want. Okay, you can take it in a different height, you can reduce it. And there is an arm which I have given over here. You can see the arm. Okay, this arm actually lifts and then connect. Okay, now you see the regulator is on and uh, the ball disc is rotating. The second operation of the this thing is the boss arm, ball oscillation. What you call it as a, it gives one to the left and one to the right. I'll switch on that also. Just wait and see. Okay, now you can see. Yeah, there's a 200 rpm motor which I have fixed over here nice 200 rpm motor you can see I have made some uh, lever okay when the ball when the I have put a pulley over here uh, when uh, the motor runs at a 200 rpm okay you can fix a regulator for this also but I, I don't think so it is needed okay now you can see the ball swinging operation one from the left one to the right okay around say from one ball to the left and one ball to the right the third mechanism what you can see now is uh, this wheel shooting wheel the shooting wheel uh, i'll switch on the shooting wheel you can see i'll switch on the, the shooting wheel yeah now you see how how speed uh, the this thing is rotating so i'll just show you uh, yeah, I'll switch off. Uh, okay, not necessary. Mm, you can see that all the three mechanisms are working now. Ball shooting mechanism. Okay, and then uh, swing operation, and then uh, ball disc rotation over here. Right. So 
here also a regulator is there here this part is called as a height adjustment you can adjust the height to any height i have put some screws nothing bolt and a fixed here so this can be raised like this and then this can be down like this okay now if i uh, put some ball over here i'll just show you i'll try to put some ball over here let's see how it's going to tell you okay there are some ball which are there how to slightly increase the speed of that okay now the ball start going inside and then ball start shooting okay okay now you can see the ball shooting now it all depends upon how uh, this thing if you want to adjust the height you have to adjust the height also you have to put the speed of the ball so no more the ball you put over here you can see how nicely it shoots okay yeah okay. yeah you can adjust the height or also you can adjust the height okay this is the working model of the robo the spin direction can be changed in whatever fashion you want okay in whatever fashion you want you can uh, change the spin direction by there is a what you call it as this this is a collapsible mechanism i'll switch off the all the units okay yeah now all are collapsible just you see you can take this collapse okay right you can see the ball shooting mechanism over here yeah now this is a speed you get uh, for the top spin the ball rotates in the opposite direction if you want a side spin you can put it this way if you want a this side spin you can put it this way to this thing and then completely if you want to rotate you can rotate uh, this thing and then you can start doing the chop service sorry chop uh, return so you can fix it over here again okay now this is fixed now you can see the robo you can start playing okay so uh, actually this is a 12 volts uh, motor uh, mini motor and then have made many adapters for this okay now you can see many shooting wheels i have done this is one of the shooting wheel which is a high speed shooting wheel okay you can see this also can be attached an ordinary again cap a 12 volt motor and a waste uh, ac dc converter uh, mobile charger which was at home okay and then the, the second one is also very high speed shooter also this is also just made out of ordinary bottle cap cap bottle okay you can see the cap bottle table tennis rubber and this thing and also it is connected to a just ordinary old a mobile charger 12 volts ac dc converter now here you can see slightly higher uh, um, heavy duty it's almost 7 amps 12 volts motor with a bigger wheel and a very heavy uh, ball shooter it uh, gives a very high speed ball shooting mechanism okay now 1 2 3 and 4 uh, shooters you have got and you want to put the adapter here this is called the adapter you can keep on changing putting the adapter here to suit the length if you can make this arm also straight if you want by putting this you can make it straight without the swinging you can put it over here in any direction you can put it this is just you can see all the um, ac dc converters connected to a the stick switch and then in turn it is connected to the main over here okay now you can see one more uh, this thing net over there so when the ball shoots the net goes over there and there is a reflect board return board also fixed on this thing if you don't want to play with the robo you can take out the robo and start playing on the uh, return board also so anyone can make it at home no need of spending i told you it's simple you can again see that it is uh, just a frame taken a plastic bag taken and uh, just a wooden disc cut into shape in one groove over here and uh, 
and old PVC pipes which are all there at home which is taken over there and then some slotted angles and nuts and bolts has been taken and a 200 rpm motor which is bought out and you know again 1500 2000 rpm small mini motor fixed those thing and a old bottle cap with a rubber table tennis rubber and a slightly elongated shooting uh, Mm, arm so the ball shoots very nicely okay now here you can see the, it is done on my cozy table tennis room anybody can do it no need of spending uh, mm, money on that okay just if you have any doubts and clarification you can always uh, comment on that i'll be answering all the questions uh, by the viewers okay all right thank you thank you for viewing my video again i have already uploaded uh, this type of video in my youtube channel okay this is the fourth or a fifth edition which i have completely improvised and done it all right okay thank you thank you very much thank you viewers have a nice day